so Duff here and today's video um, it's going to be another different video it's going to be um, as you should see it's another firearms video um, as you can see on the box it says Cobra Firearms um, so you see me have another Cobra Firearms that I've reviewed before and this is another one that I wanted so let's actually open this box and take a look at it so what I have here is um, let's, uh, well, like before, it comes with this little sheet here, which is, uh, download your instruction owner's manual from the website, which, yeah, is useful, because this doesn't come with an actual instruction manual. Um, it comes with this, these instructions for the lock right here, uh, which is pretty cool. It's a three-number combination lock with, you know, with the cable. Eh, pretty cool. Uh, nice that they give it that to you, but this is what we are here for. This is a Cobra Arms CB9 Derringer. So this is chambered in 9mm, and I've actually had this pistol out already. As you can see, I did modify... I, well, first off, this thing is unloaded, as you can see. So, so yeah. Uh, can't fire it or anything like that because there's no round in chamber. It is safe because it's in half cock and I have the safe on which it has this slide bar safety. If it will actually move over. There you go. So yeah, it has this slide bar safety. I have it in safe right now so yeah, nothing is in the chamber and yeah. Um, but I will leave it unlocked for now, but yeah, as you can see, I do have the slimmer ABS grips because I do conceal carry it from time to time, and the grips that came with it are these rosewood um, grips, and you see it's in black Cerakote. Um Yeah, these grips are just a little bit too thick for it to conceal carry because I do actually keep it in a Derringer holster, which is pretty cool. But yes, this is chambered in 9mm, um, 9mm Luger, um, so let's go through this a little bit. So yes, it's a Derringer, so it only holds two rounds, uh, it's chambered in 9mm, um, so you might be asking, why buy a Derringer, um, especially in 9mm? Uh, well, I've always wanted one. Um, I thought it'd be something cool to have. Uh, a lot of people, they really don't care for these. A lot of my friends that I've spoken to that own guns and pistols and stuff like that, they don't really care for it, but I've always found them interesting. Um, you might be asking, yeah, uh, you can get a pistol, a uh, normal pistol that's the same size that can hold more rounds, and you're a exactly correct if you're thinking that because this is my everyday carry this is a Caltech P32 well it is loaded because it is my everyday carry I'm gonna keep my finger off the trigger so don't get on me about that but yeah this is fully loaded I believe uh, the specs are 17 ounces fully loaded 10 ounces unloaded without anything in it and this Derringer is 14 ounces unloaded Put two rounds in chamber it's probably about 16 ounces probably a little bit more uh and it's about the same weight you know but why do it i honestly i think it's cool i like derringers i've always wanted one so it's really just preference um okay so going through it um yeah so some of the features on this you can see i actually painted some of these uh sites so you can actually look down the actual sights and you can actually see it um, drop this hammer so yeah it does have two safeties um, so first off is that uh, slide bar safety and also it has the half cock and then the full cock and once you do that you can pull the trigger and then it'll drop and you know it'll switch between the two barrels as you can see here and if I pull the trigger, you can see 
top one fires, do that again, and you know, it'll switch back and forth. So it doesn't shoot both of them at the same exact time, which what a lot of people do ask me. And as you can see, I did modify it with a lot of this 3M grip tape type stuff. Um, because when you shoot this thing, it it wants to get out of your hands. It's um, you got to get a hold of it. This thing kicks really hard. It's, yeah, that's why I have all this grip on it, because you can't really get a good purchase on this thing. Um, and the trigger pull is horrendous, like a lot of people have said. But I've noticed, um, well, I brought it to range, and I shot it a couple times. It wasn't lubed, so I lubed the thing up, and it ran way smoother afterwards. Um, yeah. So, it takes standard 9mm rounds. Um, so these are two spent cartridges, so, yeah, I'm not putting anything live in this thing, just because. Um, and then another one. So, yeah, goes in just like so, flip it over, and lock it, and it locks in place. And then to remove, um, yeah, they pull out, and you kind of got to really get your nails in there and like yank it out which is a I've noticed it was a quirk of this thing and you know like with these lower end pistols if you ever heard of fluff and buff like you got to do it to this thing like there's like minor minute adjustments you got to make like I had to file down the extractor a little bit for the rounds to sit in there correctly. Uh, I had to play with the screw because this thing has misfires and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let me show you some footage of this thing at the range and I'll actually show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Right. So yeah, um, as you saw in the video of um, this thing shooting at the range of uh, you notice that it it did malfunction where you know it did a light primer strike and I've always been finding that happen with, with this lower barrel I don't know why I'm not sure why um, I've read that you can switch up the firing pins which I did and it still does it I've adjusted this um, hinge screw which helps with the issue sometimes but it still does it but you know what can I really complain cuz this thing was hundred and thirty five dollars when I bought it and that was about I would say one two years ago maybe uh, this thing is really just a toy I I bought it as yeah I bought this thing really as a toy like I have my actual everyday carries which is this which I know will fire every time I pull the trigger but this thing, yeah, um, it works most of the time. 60% of the time it works every time, you know? So why not just have it as a range toy? Because honestly, like to actually fire this thing and actually use it in an emergency situation, this thing is a handful. And it is already a handful as you saw at the range because this thing's got a lot of kick. Yeah, this thing's fun to play with, but I do everyday carry it sometimes, but it's it's not my main primary everyday carry. Other than that, all I can really say is, yeah, this thing really is just a toy, and for the price, I don't know, I, I can't really complain. So, yeah, that is the review of this. Thanks for watching.